All right, I've had a few people ask me about how I load and unload the kayak when it's on top of my car. So I'm out here on the Delta. It's a windy day out here. I don't know how much fishing I'm gonna end up doing today, but I figure I'd take this opportunity to just put a little video together of uh, just unloading and loading the kayak on top of my car. So we'll give you the full setup right now. I've got, I've got a tie down that goes down to the front of my car. And then I've just got the perception straps that run around the rack, the one that I put through the car. And then I have one on the back that I've already taken off too, but I usually just end up attaching one to this point right here. But I'll get this set up and I'll show you how I take this off of here. that and if I remember when I come back I'll just repeat the process but pretty simple I use a pad just to kind of protect the car not that I really need to the car's in bad shape, <laughs> bad shape but if you value your car you want to definitely get a pad so, all right let's see how we're gonna struggle out here with these winds hopefully we catch a fish or two all right so as you can hear and see behind me it was just too windy to be out on the water so no fish today on this video but I'm gonna still take this opportunity to show how I get this kayak up on top of that car maybe it'll help you out all right here we go Just running them here and here on both of these. And you just position it here and tighten them down, both sides, get them good and snug. I like to use the perception straps. You don't want to use ratchet straps. It'll end up flexing the kayak too much. So I like to use these. I like to use the 15 foot ones for, for this application. It's a little bit overkill, but it works. Then for added safety, 
I like to run another perception strap. I use the 12 footer for this and then I run that through the car just as an added protection in case these other two failed for some reason. Then I run a I run another one here on the stern. Just tighten that down and then it goes to a spot underneath my car that's attached. And then I have a, a bow line. Then I have this strap here that just always stays on the handle of the kayak. So then I just attach this just attach this one here and then I just cinch down the bow line nice and tight so I mean that's pretty much the setup it holds on there pretty well it would take a lot to fail for this to come off I've got three straps holding the kayak down on the roof and then a bow in the stern so I've had a couple of people ask me how I car top this kayak since it was so windy today and I didn't catch any fish, I figured I'd go ahead and throw a video of this together. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. Appreciate you watching. Catch you on the next video. Hopefully a fishing video.